Ignatius Freud 7 here, and welcome back. We're starting with the first, well, zero. My esteemed Mr. Strelnikov, I know someone of your profession values discretion above all else. Yeah. But I have to honestly say, screw that. Oh, wow. The dialogue's wrong. <laughs> All the assassins from Russia are as good as you? I seriously doubt it. But listen, your secret's safe with me. Eddie Winter, signing off. Okay. It's number zero, so to speak. Message to Johnny Montrano. Johnny, Johnny, Johnny. You fat, lazy piece of shit. I what is that? I knew this was okay. Hang on, guys. Hold up. Oh, come on. Let's join forces with the North End, huh? You bury the hatchet, work mutually against the common enemy. Well, you put the nail in that coffin. Oh, snap. What was your job? Sit in your car on the corner. Gotcha. Thanks, guys. I <laughs> appreciate that. Get out. Walk down the street. For reals, dude. Come on, man. Holy shit. What the fuck was that? Oh. That was the vertebrae. <laughs> That's so good, dude. Number two. Message to Robert Cooper. You did good, Bobby. The wife and girl won't be saying anything. No worries. Hell, once those fat life insurance checks start rolling in. Ooh. Nice. Will wish her fat slob of a husband had eaten that bullet five years ago. That's what would happen I, I, next. I have listened to this one before, I think. Let's do it again, though. Doesn't matter where he ends up. I don't give a shit. I just want him in the ground. So, two ball. Three ball. What happened to his little meatball? With Ashtray. Eddie Winter. Signing off. Yeah. Three. Probably not gonna end well for old Robert Cooper. Message to Claire Pazinski. Dinner tonight. Me, you, and Arthur Black. Reservations of uh, seven at the Cornerstone Grill. Raider. Don't worry. I'll make sure Arthur's on his best behavior. No stabbing the waiter for a fucked up drink order like what happened in Charlestown. Even though the drink deserved it. Look how tasty that damage is, dude. Ah, tasty damage. Message to Sal Bosconi. You and I clearly need to talk. Bosconi? About Danvers, about the Montrano mess, about everything. I think we both agree that our attempts to improve... You got yours? You got yours. Look, I take full responsibility for the behavior of my guys. I expect you to do the same for that moron Ooh. Montrano. By the way, my my uh, my 
sniper rifle does uh does plasma damage or whatever energy damage you know it can turn them to plasma it's not radiation damage these 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 guys are like almost dead what happened here seriously weird Okay, these don't seem to be all that relevant to anything. Missed the pile of goo. Clearly, you never sat down at dinner with these guys. They can barely agree on an appetite. And ain't nobody jumping to pick up the check. The bosses had their hands in the honey pot, sure. But nowhere near the level you were suggesting. You did get one thing right, though. Safety Inspector Alice Lansky was killed. They'll never find her. There's nothing left. What? That's kind of messed up. Fusion core. Eddie Winter, sign it off. Number eight. Message to Rodrigo Palama. Okay, my friend. I thought about it. And I've reached a decision on the Fallon's job. Your cut is exactly what you deserve. Zero dollars. Silch. <laughs> you heard me right. You get nothing. Yes. That's not good. Final one. Message to Claire Pazinski. Time to start thinking about a vacation. How does six weeks in Ireland sound to you? Dublin, Galway Bay, Waterford. Maybe a week in that little bed and breakfast in Kilkenny. And don't worry, huh. we don't have to take my cousin Stephen with us. Let him get out of the country <laughs> on his own. I told him to threaten that cop, not blast him in the face with a shotgun. Rotten at a bin and fishery down in Union Wharf for all I care. Love you. Eddie Winter, signing off. Get all the all the goodies. Alright, now. Let's have a chat. Hey. I'm all ears. Well first, let's trade a little bit. Which is to say, of course, give you some stuff to carry. By the way, side note, do not give your followers explosives because they will use them. And frankly, it's not cool. Yeah. It doesn't end well for you. Especially if they set something off right in front of you. What is weighing me down? down so much. Oh, must be all the junk I have. Fair play. Hey. Let's talk, buddy. Show does. Finally got them all. Here. No fooling. Wow. That's some real solid detective work. Not really. 
You look at the computer, you go to the next place. And they've still got the code pieces in them. Let me run them through the old processor. Nice. Got it. One, nine, five, three, seven, two, eight, four, zero, six. That old thug's holed up in Andrew's station. Now, let's go bring down Eddie Wynn. Sweet. What did it say? Whoa! I'm with you. Is that where you're going? Alright. Hold up. Don't get all antsy, bruh. Seems like he's not... Is he not following me anymore? Hey, Valentine. Let's not keep Eddie waiting. Okay. Cool. Well, let's do let's use, let's use this old gun here. Come on. Damn. All right. Let's do this. Sure. Bam. Eat it, bruh. Where did he go? Seriously. Where did he go? Nick. Oh. Okay. I got you. I'm with you. Let's go. Do 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 do. Adventures of Nick and Captain Mal. I don't know. That was dumb. That was dumb. You get hung up? You get hung up for, bruh. Let's go. I'm with you. Hey, Valentine. Hey, Valentine. Time for Eddie to get in due. Are you... Oh, God. There you go. Uh, I'm looking out for you, bruh. There we go. <laughs> Got hung up. Do, do. How far are we running? Should I have waited to talk to him until, like... Oh, my damn. Alrighty, then. No, that's cool, actually. Ready for some adventure, Nick. Let's do this. Uh, in the next video. Until next time, guys, Bumblebee Tuna, we'll see you next video.